We're now going to do sensitivity analysis on constraint two, and I'm going to discover how much I'm allowed to change the 21 by. So I don't know how much I'm allowed to change it by. I'm going to represent it by a variable. In this case, we'll use the letter H. As is usual, at this point, I'm going to solve for Y. Notice this is the same as one of the original equations, just with a plus H at the end. Now, go back and look at your graph, okay? The line we're changing is this one. That line intersected with the minus 5 thirds x plus 10 to form our optimal solution of 3, 5. So I intersected these two lines to find the answer. Now I'm going to change this one, but I still want to intersect it with the same line to find the answer. Okay, so minus 2 thirds x plus 7 plus h over 3 will be equal to minus 5 thirds x plus 10. Just as before, in order to complete this calculation, I would like to get rid of fractions. And I get that x is 3 minus h over 3. Okay. Now, I need y. I'm going to do the same thing to get y as I normally do. I'm going to plug it into one of the two original equations we set equal to each other. I'm going to choose to plug it into this one since that doesn't have an h in it. I don't want to add more h's to the picture. So y will be minus 5 thirds times this value of x plus 10. or y will be 5 plus 5h over 9. Now, this gives me what my point will change to when I change 21 by h, but I have not yet discovered how much I'm allowed to change h. Okay. So, I'm going to take these two values of x and y and apply the non-negativity conditions to them. So x, which is 3 minus h over 3, must be greater than or equal to zero, and this gives me an inequality that says that h must be less than or equal to nine. I also have that y must be greater than or equal to zero. And this gives me an inequality that h must be greater than or equal to negative nine. In total, I am allowed to change that 21 by any number between negative 9 and 9. When I do so, I can plug that h value in and find my new optimal solution. So for example, if I could use h equals 2, my new optimal solution will be 3 minus 2 thirds, which is 7 thirds, comma 5 plus 10 ninths, which is 55 ninths. Okay. 